everybody, Amber Nixon here talking to you today about the new Hoka 1-1 Tracer shoe. This shoe is really lightweight, coming in at 6.3 ounces for a women's size 9. I wear a size 11 and decided to do a little investigating since I noticed that this shoe also weighs the same as the Hoka 1-1 Clayton shoe. Both of these are new on the market. I did notice, however, that the Hoka Clayton shoe does weigh almost one ounce heavier than what is being advertised on their website. Hmm. All right, so there are some things I like and dislike about this shoe. Things I like, number one, it is extremely lightweight. When running up hills, I did not experience the fatigue that I usually do. Number two, Hoka really thought about their customer when designing this shoe. There's cushioning in the heel and in the toe box area and along the side of the shoe. This will ensure that no matter what kind of run you're on, your feet are not going to get fatigued. Number three, the heel stability in the shoe is also really well designed. My heels did not slip in or out of these shoes and the way the top is designed here, there were no blisters. Yay! Number four, the tongue of this shoe. I thought this was going to be a deal breaker. When I saw that the tongue was really lightweight and flimsy, I thought, oh no, did Hoka go back to what they did before and create flimsy tongues? Uh. Instead, what they did, they put some cushioning right down the center of the tongue. This ensures that the tongue stays in place. It does not move side to side. It does not go inside the shoe to where it's never to be found again. Are you down there? It stays in place and I am so happy about that. And number five, this shoe is streamlined. There is no additional fluff to this shoe. It is just going to hug your feet like a teddy bear. Hoka really thought about the customer when they were designing a fast, efficient, responsive shoe. It's like, I feel the earth move under my feet. So unfortunately, there are a few things I don't like about the shoe. Number one, the toe box is extremely narrow compared to the other Hoka shoes that I wear. Number two, because the toe box is really narrow, my toes don't have any room to naturally splay, which can become uncomfortable on any type of run. Number three, I noticed right away when immediately wearing these shoes, my feet wanted to pigeon toe instead of staying straight. Let me know your thoughts. Have you experienced the same thing? And lastly, number four, although this does seem to be the mainstream with what a good pair of running shoes cost, $130 is still a lot of money. All right, guys, so that wraps up this Hoka 1-1 Tracer review. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried them out? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Have you noticed your speed increase? I would love to know your thoughts. All right, guys, have a safe weekend. Stay safe. Bye.